everyone, this is Master Art Sandman 1, and today we have a tutorial on how to do flags and patches for Call of Duty Mega Bloks figures. Now, this has been a suggestion from Drift Tech and Colin Rack. They made comments on my videos asking me for tutorials on this. So, thanks, guys. And keep the comments coming, because I'm always looking for new ideas, and I want to know what you want to see. So first of all, we have some kind of samples of what they look like once these are done, the way I do them. So that's what the seals patches are going to look like, and that's what this main kind of usual desert soldiers patch is going to look like. And then for this guy, I'm going to give him this federation patch on his shoulder. So then he can go with my clockwork map set. Or kind of mock. So first of all, you're going to need a knife for the way I do it. A toothpick that is broken. Sorry that there's paint all over it. But a broken toothpick so it has a little kind of like really kind of small edge on it and then paint so to make this video not be too long I'm gonna be doing all these figures kind of at the same time so I'm gonna get this guy's tactical vest off because that's what we're painting and then for this guy we're going to give him a tactical vest patch So if I can get this off. Because this figure is already painted. So the whole body is sometimes hard to get the stuff off. But now. Putting that there. Then. For this sniper. We are going to paint a shoulder patch for him with a muted American flag and then for the Federation soldier again a shoulder patch except Federation of course so now we will put the paints out so if you want to do it exactly the way I do it you need black Uh, some yellow. And of course you can tell which kind of flags these are each from. So if you only want to do the American flags, you know. Dark gray. Light gray. white, red, and blue, just to get through that faster. So now, as I keep pouring these out, I'm going to quickly explain what I do. So what you need to do is, so for each of these patches, I take the tactical vest, and then I paint on just the white underneath first, or that's optional. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. Yeah, my computer turning off. But so, first of all, you take, you put one red line, no matter how thick it is. And then once that dries, you put another white line underneath. So then you can make the first line as thin as possible. So that's kind of my technique for all of it. And that's also how I do patches like this. But you'll see. And then, of course, the blue. Okay. Okay, so now to start, we will start with this guy. Let's just get, first of all, uh, we get the, hmm, I'm trying to think just one second. So black for the main kind of like flag part, or stars 
area of the Stars and Stripes. And then now on to this. We'll put down the black too. So now there's that on both of them. Now coming over to our Federation soldier, he will also get a black pentagon shape. Because that's what I do, I kind of layer all my paints so then I can get really nice lines. And then for the usual American flag, of course, we will get the blue down. And there. So now, for the American flag, we will get the red down. Or, yeah. So, for this, it doesn't really matter how thick the line is. Try to get it as thin as possible, but it really doesn't matter. So don't worry about that if you can't get it really super thin. Because, other than using the knife tip, I don't have any, like, really fine tip, uh, kind of pen, uh, or painting utensil type things. So then, I'm going to do the dark gray line for that, and then a dark gray line for this one. And then, as this one dries, we will just wait for a minute. But yeah, so, okay, yeah, this is going to be a kind of long video. Sorry, but just wait around and skip through some parts. I might be just kind of talking randomly while I wait for stuff to dry for some of this. But yeah, so just keep the comments coming because I love having ideas so I know what you want to see from me and yeah so now I think this one's ready so then what you do is you just yeah it's really hard to see on camera but of course there's the gray or, yeah oh man these reflections are terrible but you can see there's the gray up on top so then you just if this is dry no okay it's not dry okay we will not do that right now Okay, let's go with the white line then for this one. The red is pretty much dry. So then we'll just put that there. And I know it looks messy, but really it's fine. Because then, once the white is dry, we'll put another red line. Now also for this, we can take our knife, dip it in the white just a little bit on the really fine tip, and then you have your blue, and you can just start dotting the blue area, and then, oh man. and then you get something resembling the stars there. Also, a lot of my painting involves scraping off paint that is coming out of the lines and stuff. So, that happened a bit on this patch already with putting the gray. So I just scrape that off, usually with a toothpick but it doesn't really matter. You can also do it with a knife as long as you're gentle. And there. So now we will do the gray. 
or light gray for this guy. And then I'd say the black is dry on this one, so there. And then we will just get that. And there, so we're kind of getting the red middle outline kind of in there and then now back to this one I think this is good so we will get in another red line and then there of course it's kind of doing what I said it was gonna do and then let's come back over to this one Put another gray. Now I guess you could do this all with the just tip of a knife, but sometimes that's hard to get really straight lines, whereas like this, you can really just kind of like level it off when you make the new kind of lines. So yeah, and then uh, maybe we'll go over to this one, uh, hopefully, yeah, this one's dry, so we will get the gray again, and just put it down there. There, so this one is coming along, and as you can see there are the stripes. This one is still drying. That is the one thing about this, it's kind of hard to do a tutorial for this, because I don't have ed video editing software at the moment, so I can't kind of time lapse this or anything. But this is kind of a lengthy process, because you have to wait for each layer to dry before you can put another layer. So just, if you don't have much time, make sure that you reserve time to do this if you are going to try this out for yourself. Because unless you wanna like, do this in multiple kind of sittings, you're going to have to have like, a fair amount of time just to kinda paint. So we will continue this tactical vest patch. And then maybe this one's dry. Nope. Okay, we are going to need to put just a bit more red paint back on this then. Okay, hopefully that doesn't slow us down. But now we will put more light gray on the shoulder of this guy. Okay, and then I'd say this one's ready. Okay, yep, yeah, it's good. So 
yeah, I just, this video is going to be long, maybe 20 minutes or so, hopefully not longer than that, but just skip through kind of some of this, because you get the idea of this pretty quickly, but just kind of skip to the end if you want to kind of see the finished stuff. So, yeah, and I'm just kind of cycling through each one of these. And just make sure that you kind of wipe off the tip of your knife each time, just so you don't get, like, kind of random paint kind of stuck on the tip of your knife. And now we will get some more light gray on this one. Yeah, again, being messy doesn't really matter. Like, that just made a massive patch. But really, it's fine. And then the amount of lines that you put in really depends on how big of a space you have or how big you want the patch to be. Because if I was going to make like big patches, I'd be able to fit way more space or way more stripes on the American flag. But with such a small area, it's kind of hard, even with the way I'm making the lines super thin. So then we'll put some more black paint in on this. And you can see the Federation symbol is coming together. I have the red outline with the main black outline of the Pentagon. There. So now, again, just cycling. We have this one now. I might just end this video once I'm done the Federation one because these other ones I've done before and I can just show you what the end result is. So I might just cut this video short because yeah, you get the idea. And yeah, if any like kind of paint gets on like areas where it isn't supposed to be, just scrape it off with either a to uh, with either a toothpick, toothpick or a knife. And then it all just kind of wipes away. And if it dries on, then yeah, I'll just scrape. And now with this Federation one, I think it's dry enough, yes, to put on the yellow dots for these stars. So just kind of get... Oh man. So just get the yellow dots in, in the little circle, and then you can see, looks pretty good. It's upside down there. Yeah, looks a lot like the Federation symbol, if I do say so myself. So maybe I'll just continue this for just a little bit longer. So now, I'd say we are going to wrap this up, because now that we have this federation symbol done, we can 
reassemble this guy, give him back his rifle, his head, and the backpack. And if you want to see more tutorials in the future, please comment and tell me what you want to see how I do. Of what? Man, that was a weird sentence. So, yeah. Now, as I wrap up, we got this Federation one done. And, of course, oh man. I have to get this figure to stand up. The American flag should turn out something like this. And then, for the muted one, something like this. So to go over, just cover up each line to make each last one thinner. And then use the tip of your knife to put in small details, like stars, aka dots, because it's so small in this case. So this has been Master Ant Sandman 1. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.